I started with boxing as a young age, like in the 70s. I went on and won a couple of championships. And then after I stopped boxing, I always liked the horses, and my uncle had horses when I was small. So I always said to myself, one day I'm gonna get a horse. So I ran to a friend of mine who owned a stable named Tank. He took me to get my first horse and taught me all the ropes about it, and that's how I got involved with it. It's been good to me. It's a lot of similar things to take care of the horse, like boxing, like discipline. It takes a lot of responsibility because you gotta be dedicated. You gotta be obligated to come up, clean them up, wash them, feed them, walk them, do all the proper things you need to do. Discipline, training. My family had horses, my friends had horses, so I got into horses. A lot of guys was older than us, and when we used to work at the stable, we used to see how they operate, and they had their own little places and stuff, so they said, when y'all get big, y'all do the same thing. So that's how we start out. A group of guys get together, and we uh, get a lot, and we all make our own little place. And there's a lot of them in West Philly, there's a lot of them in North Philly. Everybody liked the horses. In the city, some horses not used to the cars and the buses and the noise. So you had to like wean them into the environment and then they'd be all right. When people see the horses riding the street, they'd be amazed there's not too many other cities that having cowboys riding the city hall or downtown or wherever. We all know each other. West Philly, North Philly, Southwest Philly, Sharon Hill, Upper Darby. We all from Philly. So we all get together and we enjoy ourselves. Philly have a lot of character, and I love being a part of this. Like one big family, we all concrete cowboys, no matter what part of the city you're from. When we go riding, they say, oh, they go to the cowboys, and we we'll wave at them with the kids, and we give them a ride. We enjoy doing it for them, and it's fun for the kids. When they get out of school, they'll come over here. Do your homework, do whatever your mom tell you what you have to do, and we'll show them the responsibility they have here. You know, some of them make it, some of them don't. It's rewarding to us, and it's a lot of work in it, but it's fun. My pops, he got me into dealing with the horses. And, you know, I just fell in love with it once I got here. You're seeing the beautiful creatures. They're fun to be around, and I love to ride them. Having the old times around is great, especially Boo. They are the ones that taught us with the knowledge and the history to back the knowledge to kind of school you and help you go on throughout your journey. So it was good to pass it on to my son, my grandson, my granddaughter. You get them something different, and then they love it. It's a good thing for kids to learn. They're coming in, getting kids, children off the streets, and it's teaching them discipline, especially from children that come from families that doesn't have that good foundation. This helps them stay out of trouble. So it's a good thing of getting the community involved and still be able to be a part of it for the next generations after to come. We help a lot of kids, and before you know it, they done straighten their life up a little bit. So we try to do the best we can with them and whoever we got to help. We ride all over the Sandma Park. We done rode in protest. Bright Live Matter protests. So we sat out and we ride the city. There's no limit where we go at. From one side of the city to the other side of the city, sometimes we ride downtown, we cowboys. That's what we do. We just reliving history in our own way, showing people that there's black cowboys in the city all over. I'm Shirley Mann. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.